Welcome back to one of the Guardian Tales video fellas. Today we are going to fight the fairy. I'm choosing to put Marina in here instead of the knight, but the knight probably will do more damage. Okay, let's put the knight in. Um, but yeah, we're going to fight these guys. I fought her before on um, the practice mode, just to kind of put it in the video and have some fun with it. But today we're doing the real deal. And there's another point I want to show. Um, apparently, I could be totally wrong in this, so I'll, I'll lean on you guys to correct me, but um, even if you have garbage teams, you want to use all three attacks per day. I didn't talk about that, and I didn't show that in the previous videos, because you get this two metal reward, and you're going to use that on very important stuff in the shop, because I believe that's the same metal reward you get from doing PvP. So let's do a practice first. We're waking up. Let's see if I'm rusty. Let's let's get in the groove, and then we'll do a real attack, and then I'll do um, bogus attacks with uh, whatever garbage team I can put together. And yeah, so this fairy, I'm choosing her because um, my my team is a normal team, normal damage type or basic damage type, whatever it's called, and uh, I get a damage bonus against her, so I might as well pick her. This guild I'm in is a rando guild that I joined for a quest. I don't really know how to drop that appropriately, and I guess I messed that up. Um, but, yeah, rando guild, and um, we have been able to clear through some of these waves maybe every day, every other day, something like that. So, whatever, it's working. It's working, no complaints there. Hopefully I'll drop this ferry before the timer runs out. 18 seconds to go. Kind of wish I had sound on a little bit, but whatever. We're going to plug away, and we will get our reward regardless. You do get some sort of reward when the boss dies. Hopefully that ult hit her and didn't miss. Come on. Three seconds. Oh, uh, this is going to be a heartbreak. I can't get another ult off. Ah, I probably could have played that a little better. But anyways, what I want to show in this video is doing all of your attacks is important. Who knows? Maybe my garbage team, whatever I put in next, will actually be able to finish her off. But you can only use each hero once per day. You get three attacks per day, so you need three teams and you can kind of figure out how exactly you want to do that. Anyways, that was the practice battle. Um, hopefully, if I play a little bit better, get a little more damage, and I can finish her off with one team. But let's jump right into it, and let's get this thing going. Um, other videos, I'll probably do another Coliseum video, and then I'll probably do some, maybe my daily PvP videos. I'm kind of enjoying that, and to just give players the, the daily update on how things are doing. I can talk about uh, what I've been working on, and you can kind of see how my PvP evolves, whether it's strategy-wise or just, you know, gear and stuff like that. But I'm having a good time, man. I'm enjoying this. Apparently, the publisher for this game is the same one for Black Desert Online. I never played BDO. Um, hey, I finally dropped that somewhat correctly, maybe. Um, yeah, I never played BDO. I'm just aware of it because it's a very popular game. All right. I think we're doing more damage this time. I'm being a little bit more aggressive, staying close to her. <clears throat> so hopefully we can finish it off in one go. And then I'll be... Fighting a different, where'd you go? Ooh, fighting a different boss. I do think this game suffers a little bit from screen clutter. You want your effects and things to be big enough so that players see it and notice it, um, but you don't want things to be too much visual noise so you can't see what the heck is going on. Okay, we got it. I thought that was gonna be super close. We had like five seconds left. Okay, so we do kill the boss, and there we go. I'm still figuring out exactly how um, the guild bosses work and all that. I don't know if you have like one wave per day or how it works when you clear it. Does the guild leader reset it? I have no idea. I could just read the little info thing in the top corner, but you know, why would I do that? So hey, we increase our damage from the practice run. I guess that's probably good why we did the practice run, get a little bit warmed up and comfy. We get more stamina. I logged in today and I had a ton of stamina bonuses. I was very happy about that. Okay. Do I want to fight him or him? If you defeat it, you get experience. If you defeat this guy, you get gold. They both give you the same uh, metal reward, which I'm really interested in. And actually, I guess it does make sense. Last time we fought, they were level 50, now they're 55. So I guess every time you clear a wave, it goes up in five levels. That's what I'm going to guess. And uh, let's start making some, some bogus teams here. What's cool is if you make your team here, it shows you who you can and can't use. So let's put her there. I really don't like Lon, but I have her. So we're going to do that. And I think I've selected a team that has no healer. This is just going to be a heal though thing. I'm basically just tagging the boss and trying to get my rewards. Um, and I don't think there's any negative to it. I think each player has three attacks, so there's no reason to not use your attacks. 
I will do a warm up real quick just to see how horrible it's going to go. But again, we're tagging the boss, we're getting our loot, we'll make another team, and then that'll pretty much wrap the video. But yeah, I'll probably do Coliseum just because I want a, a better sample size. I think I was a little bit lucky in my last Coliseum video. Um, let's dodge. I don't like how the um, melee kind of locks you into melee, but I'm getting a little bit more used to it. I can't remember what hero it was where I would hit the melee button. It would, it would lock me into melee range for basically forever. We're going to ult there. It's not an ult. It's a weapon skill, but I call it ult anyways. There we go. Marina, she's fun, man. I could have dodged that. I was just being a noob. Um, but I'm enjoying Marina, man. She's the next hero I'm working on. Um, I'm told that you don't really want to finish out someone's, like, every single thing on somebody's um, awakening, the, the little gemstone thing, which I kind of did on Nari, and I was basically aiming to do on... Um, on Marina. I might still do it since Marina is that good and that important. Who knows? We'll see. It's either I start saving for my next hero that I get. That was probably the timer, yeah. Um, I start saving for the next hero that I get or I um, I just blow it all and just upgrade Marina until she's totally maxed. So we'll figure that out as I learn a little bit more. The next hero I'm looking for is Bari and then I'll probably loop back and start finishing my, um, my Eva because I think she's quite interesting. Okay, we're totally the bad. Why can. Was that a practice run? Is that why? Did I do a practice run? Yeah, I did. That was a practice run. Okay, we're being a noob. But, anyways, um, I'm like, why can't I still use the hero? Yeah. So, here we go. But I gotta say, I'm enjoying the game. Having, having some fun doing the things. Enjoying it quite a lot. And this has come from someone who prefers. Uh, PC in all things, but you know, I gotta say with 2020 being crazy, I don't have my monster streaming PC. I don't have that right in front of me. And mobile has really been doing its job, filling the gap. And one thing I've always believed very strongly is that gaming should be accessible to all people at all times. If you're not gaming in every moment of your life, what are you even doing, right? Oh, I'm going to miss a lot of this ult because he's jumping around. That was dumb. That was bad timing. But whatever. I was kind of impressed that we were able to go the distance, but Marina is that good. Um, her sword is upgraded to level 63. She's level 63. And then um, she's got a good chunk of her... Yeah, it's timer. A good chunk of her awakening is filled in. I'm actually kind of curious. Do I fill in her offensive stuff? Or do I fill in her defensive stuff? She's got a lot of stuff like team hit points, which um, I like to kind of go glassy in, in the things that I do. But um, I've seen her do a ton of damage, so I'm kind of wondering about that. I should definitely start to diversify eventually. Maybe I should be putting all this ex all this uh, coffee I have into XP, and I can start leveling some of these other teams up. Or I could level my Eugene and my um, Plit Vice. Maybe that's what I should be doing next, just to fill out these teams. So I'm helping my guild a little bit more. But I don't know, I'll decide that a little bit. Craig's pretty cool. Um, Craig on paper looks like maybe the best tank in the game. The only downside is he's a two-star hero, whereas everybody else is. Um, all the other top heroes are three stars. So I'm just adding a bunch of randoms. I don't know what these guys do. I'm not going to worry about it. I think the skin on the third girl is actually awesome. That's probably my favorite skin in the game. But anyways, all right, Garbo team, let's run in tag boss, and uh, let's call it a day, fellas. But other videos I'm about to film, I'm probably going to film my Coliseum today. I do want to get another video. I feel like I was very lucky in that last sample size. I think if anybody gets hit, they die because this team's so bad. Um, yeah, so that, Coliseum, and then I'll, I think I'll do a PvP every day. It's so quick. It's quick, it's easy. It's a good way to give you guys the update on what's going on. All right, and we die. But the point of this video is to show all you gotta do is tag the boss, you get your two medals, and that will drastically increase the amount of metal currency that you're getting. And one big issue I have is none of my characters have good accessories. And let's go to the accessory shop. We're getting there, fellas. All right. I don't know. I'll show the accessory shop in the, in the previous video. But uh, what team is this gonna be? 
Um, yeah, we're making improvements at a good rate. You know, I got nothing to complain about. I'm having a lot of fun in the game. I don't know how strong the population of this game is. It came out in February, or maybe it was in beta in February. So it's still relatively new. Um, a lot of mobile games struggle just because there's a billion mobile games out there on the market. But uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. The only downside is I think they do server shards. So they have um, different servers for each region, which I understand that. Um, but they also have like North America 1, North America 2, North America 3. And I hate it when, when games do that and they kind of separate the population. But it makes it easier to get rank rewards. But here's the thing. You don't have to separate your population to separate the rank rewards. You can kind of break the player base into different cohorts. So I'm competing with the 100 people that joined the game at the same time as me versus the entire server when you're talking about like rank rewards and stuff, but whatever. That's kind of beyond the scope of this video. Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.